Okay, so I'm going to make you the presenter again. Okay, so it should be going over to your screen now, Mike. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, excellent. I'm going to I want to welcome everybody. Uh, this is a, uh, a a topic on legal shield and working with lawyers because it's one of the questions I'm getting all the time from people is one, there's a lot of legal questions that people are coming up with out of this, you know, you know, as landlords and real estate investors, how is this going to affect us? Um, what's going to happen? Is there going to be, you know, if our tenants don't pay, who do I talk to? So I've been getting a ton of questions and about, you know, basically legal questions. And I can give you my, hey, this is this is my opinion. This is what I want to do. But my opinion is just that. It's an opinion. It means nothing to you guys because First of all, what's going to work for me is not necessarily going to work for you. And what, in my opinion, is may not even be right. Right? You want to get the right answers to your questions. And I'm getting a ton of people. And one of the big ones is going to be coming up, and I don't know the answers to this yet, is, you know, if we got our tenants that are not paying us right now because the, the governor said, oh, you don't have to pay, but we're still making our mortgage payments and all that stuff. Well, what happens when we come on the backside of this? Do the tenants have to pay the back payments? Or are those completely forgiven forever? So, or or what can we do? Can we come after them to collect those back payments that they didn't make? Can we you know, evict them if they don't make those back payments? What are our legal rights coming out of this? And I know Legal Shields already, um, Wagner, Faulkner, and Jettos, the local company here, have already done a presentation or two on that uh, for the members. And I've been having a lot of people ask me about that. But the other thing that um, Mike, Mike and I were talking about the other day, we were doing another uh, presentation for our wholesaler, and Mike did a quick little presentation on what Legal Shield was. And I got a bunch of people come out of that asking me about the, the business opportunity about it, because there's a huge business opportunity too. So, but you know what? Let's just do it at one time rather than us trying to go back and forth and me trying to get in touch with Mike and answering everybody's questions. Let's just get Mike back on a quick little webinar, and let's um, let's have Mike share with us what the Legal Shield product is, how it can help us with our business, you know, it's from the legal side of it. And then if there's, if we're interested, what is the business opportunity and how can we actually make some income out of this? Because I'm a firm believer right now in this time frame that the, the, the cash flow, the residual income that you can build up from this is huge. And I'm already seeing the benefits. Like I've been in my, you know, logging into my bank account and, Theoretically, it should be going down every every couple of days because the income has not been coming in from my normal sources. My normal sources, the income is actually dried up, but my checking account, my balance keeps going up every day because every day I'm getting residual income in my my checking account because I've been an associate and been working with Legal Shield and helping other investors by providing them with the Legal Shield service. So it's a great income source for me. And I told Mike after the last market crash in 2000, after 2008, um, I had built up a decent sized business at that time. And then the market crashed. And for a couple of years there, I mean, I was selling all my inventory. I had no income coming in. And I sat back one day and I stopped. So I stopped working the legal shield and all that because I was just trying to survive. And I remember one day I came to Mike. I said, Mike, um, I am not only am I, you know, I want, I want to get back into this. I am sold on this and I will never let my membership expire because what came out of this is the, the income that I received from Legal Shield. I was making a few couple thousand bucks a month off of that residual income where I wasn't doing any work at all. And that was the only thing that kept me alive for almost, for at least six months, but probably closer to a year during the worst time of that because I didn't have any other income coming in. So Legal Shield is a great source for us. So I wanted to have, have Mike come on and share with us what that is. So to introduce you guys, this is Mike Bakken. Uh, he's my upline in the Legal Shield, and he's going to share with us what the Legal Shield is and what the opportunity is. So welcome, Mike, and thank you. Hey, perfect, Mike. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Hope you're all staying safe and being healthy with this COVID-19 that is upon us. A uh, little background on myself before I get going into this. I was a general sales manager, at car dealership. I was a real estate investor, have been for over 30 years. Huge fan of Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, Kiyosaki told a couple story, a couple times in a book here, he said, 
you must have a CPA or you're gonna lose a lot of money in taxes and you better have an attorney or you're also gonna lose big time. Well, I had a good CPA, but I did not have an attorney. And then I was in a real estate course uh, by Mark Garrison and a real estate attorney came on and spoke to a group of, uh, of uh, us investors and he pretty much got right in our face and said, you're really operating unprotected. Uh, you need to have someone like me because again, he was a real estate attorney. He's, and then he goes, but the problem is you can't afford me. And I thought, well, that's nice, great. Glad you chewed us out and said, now we can't afford you, now what? And before that was even mentioned, he came and said, that's coming up on me for just about 16 years ago, I was involved in that real estate course. And the product, I went through that, which I'm gonna share with you. It made sense to me, obviously being in real estate and been an investor for many years up to that point. Uh, in fact, it made it, it, it was almost to the point where it felt too good to be true. And you'll probably see that when I go through that. But I thought to have access to the legal system, nationwide network law firms at my disposal, I thought this is crazy. It's too good to be true. And then uh, what happened is I was referring people about this product. Hey, you got to take a look at this legal shield. I was telling my Did anyone I could mention, hey, you got to take a look at this. And I was referring it out to them, and I was not even in a position to be a sales rep with Legal Shield because, number one, I didn't know there was an opportunity. But then my entrepreneur mind kicked in, talked about multiple streams of income, and I read a book years ago. I always have that entrepreneur lens looking. And I thought, hey, the product makes good sense. I've used it multiple times and referring to people, I should take a look at this. And what I found out, what really attracted me, and which I'll share with you in this uh, short video uh, webinar that I'm gonna do for you, is that it's tied to residual income. And I remember from Kiyosaki also, Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he talked about how the wealthy have been positioned within residual income. And then he said another thing like, less than 5% of people in North America are actually tied to residual income. You know, he started rattling off book authors, movie people that get residual off their movies and all that stuff, uh, insurance people, but he said less than 5%. And he talked about the wealth is tied to residual income. So when I found out this had residual income, my antennas went very high and I thought, wow, I got to take a very serious look at that. And I did that coming up. Uh, again, I, I came in as a product user first and now I've been with Legal Shield in the business side of it for over 15 and a half years. And it's the residual that I tell my wife, Mary, all the time that when an economic drop happens, like we're in it right now with COVID-19, I've never been more, more, whatever the word I'm looking for, fortunate to tie to residual income. And I feel like I need to share this with you because the ironing of all this, what we're doing today, I launched my real estate business in the biggest downturn that we ever saw in 08 and 09 and 07 and 2010. We all remember that. Uh, they compared that to the Great Depression and that that's when I really got serious with Legal Shield. And so forward today in 2020, we're in COVID-19. We've seen that 22 million people have been laid off and there lies a massive opportunity to truly help people. And I'm gonna share that with you. So I'm gonna take you through a few slides. I'm gonna talk about the flagship products of Legal Shield. I talk, I'll talk about the income. I'll talk about how to position yourself and then I'll wrap it up at the end of that. So let's just... Uh, get going here with this. Why is this locked up on me? Hang on, just got a little duo techie thing here. There we go. So I'm going to talk about a couple models because legal field really is disrupting the legal industry. If you've used attorneys in the past, law firms are billable hours. It's retainer fees. It's uh, reaching out to the law firm and they'll feel what it is and say, well, we got to have $3,500 down before we even start looking at it, and then we go into billable hours. 
And I'm going to talk about two entities that have really disrupted the industry, and it'll make sense what Legal Shield's doing. Think of what Amazon has done as far as disrupting. I mean, Amazon started out really, they wanted to be a bookseller selling books online. And now you can buy golf clubs, you can buy anything and everything by the click of an app, hit the button, and it'll be delivered in 24 hours, 48 hours, just from something so simple as Amazon. How about music? Some of you maybe are young, maybe you're my age, I'm 55, but I used to have a stereo system that the speakers were probably taller than me, and I paid all this money for a stereo system, and then you had to go out and get albums, and then eight tracks, and then it went to cassettes, and then it went to CD, and then a little company called Spotify comes on, tap the app, you can have any song, any singer, anything, just hit it, find this music, and play it for a subscription-based model. And really that's what I wanna talk about. Both these entities, Amazon Prime is a subscription-based model. Spotify, I have that for my family. I pay, I think, $15.95 a month for my family. But it's all the music I could ever want. It's completely disrupted the industries. Let's move on here. Now let's talk about the justice system. I already talked about the billable hours, retainer fee. Let's see what Legal Shield's done to it to make it simpler, easier, and more affordable. Actually, Legal Shield's vision is really to have equal access, bring liberty, equality, and opportunity and justice. That's really their vision from Legal Shield. That is Legal Shield's corporate office. Uh, back up there for a minute. That's in Ada, Oklahoma. Uh, Legal Shield was founded in 1972. We cover about 4.4 million lives across the U.S. and Canada. We're in all 50 states. So if you're watching this webinar and you're in North Carolina, California, or Minnesota, we got law firms in all 50 states and the entire country of Canada. It's one thing that I'm going to talk up here and say good things about it, but we've been featured on just a few of these mentioned, Bloomberg, CNBC, Yahoo, Forbes, and they talk about the amazing disruptive model that Legal Shield's doing. And I'll share that with you in a moment here. So these are just a few questions you need to ask yourself. And I'm assuming you probably all have had these before. Have you ever signed a contract? a document, had a landlord tenant issue. That was a big one for me years ago. <laughs> had a huge problem as, as a landlord with some of my tenants. Been, over -treat, been overcharged, treated unfairly, received traffic ticket, had a real estate transaction, been a victim of identity theft. These are just questions that if you're looking at this, you can have and see that you'd be a huge recipient of our product that I'm gonna share with you. So let's move on here. So it's simple. We just call what we call tap the app. And this little thing that you're looking at here, it's the law form on the palm of your hand. It's a powerful tool. I tell people all the time, I don't do anything or nothing unless I find out from my attorneys, what should I do? What can't I do? How I do? This is some of the things that we can do. You can pick up the phone. You can consult with your law firm. And I'll use Minnesota's law firm, which is Wagner, Faulkner and Judd. They're an 80 year old plus law firm. They have between 30 and 40 attorneys on staff for our disposal. And they're not just a legal shield law firm. They also are different entities as well in it, but these are top quality law firms across North America. So I can tap that app anytime I want. I can speak to an attorney. Maybe I got a real estate question. Maybe I got a real estate contract, whatever it is. I call it navigating through life. Things happen. Pick up the phone, consult with the attorney. Here's what I want to talk to you about attorneys, because most people have the misconception, well, I'm a good person. I've never been in trouble. The attorneys are not there just to defend the people that have been in trouble. Actually, the attorneys are there to make smart, proactive, good decisions to navigate through life. The problem is, is what I like to say, middle America has been taken out of that class. And what do I mean by that? The average attorney in North America is just shy of $300 an hour. How many people are going to reach out to a $300 an hour for some advice? What should I do about this? What can I do about that? They're not. And that's really a problem with the justice system because it's always said equal justice under law. The reality is it's equal justice. How thick is your pocketbook? Legal Shield is coming in and leveling the playing field with that, which is a beautiful thing. So you can pick up that phone, consult on anything and everything. The law firm will write letters, make phone calls on your behalf. It could be a simple thing. Maybe you're having frustration with something. You're not getting the results that you thought you can do. My response now to time, if I'm in a situation, I always come back and say, is that the best you can do? And they'll say, yes, whatever it is, and say, okay, that's fine. And then I reach out to my attorney. 
and I'll give you a quick story on one of them. One of them was a cell phone story. It was through Sprint. It's actually one of my uh, uh, members that, that shared this story with me, and I'd like to share it with it because it's a simple story, but it's uh, quite frustrating. He's a, in sales in Minnesota, and he was vacationing in South Dakota, and he used his cell phone through the week of his vacation. And he has the unlimited plan from Sprint and uh, gets back home from vacation, gets the bill from Sprint. There's a $180 charge on a Sprint bill. So he's not sure what this is. He contacts Sprint's up. They look at it and say, oh, yeah, we had to buy additional roaming charges. You're in South Dakota. And he goes, well, that's great. But last time I checked, South Dakota is part of the national plan, which I have from you guys. And I shouldn't have to have roaming charges for this. Sprint said it's $180, it's your problem, pay it. Well, he contacted Wagner Faulkner and Judd's law firm, because that's Minnesota's law firm. They looked at it and reviewed his contract and decided to fire off a letter to corporate Sprint. Less than seven days, he gets this very apologetic letter back stating, we miss, made a miscalculation on this, the $180 were waiving, we apologize for this. And also along sent a $500 coupon, we want to retain you as a customer of Sprint. The question I always tell people about that, it's a $180 issue, but it's someone's $180 issue. Are you really going to reach out to a $300 an hour attorney to argue about a $180 issue? No. So here's the normal response, what happens in a situation like that. We get frustrated. We get mad. We say, who's your manager? Give me your manager. And then we're really going to let them have it. And then we never get to talk to no one because we're on that indefinite thing called hold. And then we just stomp off and we're just really mad. So this is what I always tell people. You don't have to get mad. You don't have to get stressed out. Just say, is that the best you can do? I'm going to reach out to my attorney and let them figure it out. Let them deal with it, whatever it may be. Again, they'll do something small or they'll do something major. We, talk, we call it the trivial to the traumatic. No matter what goes on in life, you can reach out and speak to your law firm. I'll share my real estate story with you real quick. This was 18 days after I had this service. I was flipping a home in Minneapolis. I sold it to a young investor. Everything was good. His mother was a real estate attorney. She also owned the Century 21 franchise. And the only thing the young investor said, hey, do you mind, my mom, do you mind if my mom does the closing? Because she also owned a title company. Nope, don't care. Sold the property. That was good. Went through all that and everything was good. And then I don't know, it was two weeks later or something like that. I get this very threatening letter that I owed them $1,852.35. And I remember at that time being like, what is this? Being mad, frustrated. I'm just going to call her up and say, hey, take 500 bucks. Just get this off my table. I didn't want to deal with it. And then I remembered I had legal shield and I contacted Wagner, Faulkner and Judd. And they reviewed all the documents, the signatures and all this stuff. And they decided to contact the mother because she was an attorney and her card happened to have been in all my paperwork. Well, lo and behold, after having discussion with her, this was completely dropped, null and void. Wagner issued off a letter to them signing off on a debt that I absolutely owed them nothing. And then I asked the attorney, I said, what was the deal on that? Now, mind you, this was almost 16 years ago. This was even before I was an associate with Legal Shield. I was just a member. And they said, most things like this under $2,500 or less are typically a shakedown because they knew that I'd be better off to pay it than having to contact a traditional law firm that had a retainer fee in billable hours. So it was a shakedown. Well, lo and behold, they had no idea that I had access to a law firm and it got me completely out of that. I was so impressed with that. I told everyone, you got to get this service. This is 18 days after I had that. So they'll do that unlimited. If you got a situation that you can't resolve, the attorneys will review it and make sure that they can and will send a letter or make a phone call on your behalf. They also review contracts and documents up to 15 pages. It could be anything and everything that before you put pen to paper, what should I sign? What shouldn't I sign? Have the attorneys review it. This is the part I'd like to bring into the attention where what I call the wealthy people will never sign anything. And let's talk about the mega wealthy, the Oprah Winfrey's of the world, uh, the Michael Jordan's of the world. Do you think they're going to sign anything or do anything without having their personal law firm look at it? Of course not. Well, we have that same access. We have that same right. 
we don't have to pay ten thousand dollars a month on a retainer fee twenty thousand dollars a month on a retainer fee like probably oprah does we have this for an incredible low price which i'll get to in a moment irs audit protection uncle sam wants to knock on your door and review your tax situation you now have to have a tax attorney sitting through that debacle you have trial defense that means if somebody comes after you in a lawsuit, and I always tell people, especially in this real estate community, the more that you get success, there's something what I call a magical target on your back. It's just going to happen. Somebody's going to come after you. Well, once you have this as a benefit, you get 60 hours your first year, and they cap it off at 300 hours the fifth year. This is just true trial defense. This is so, in other words, if somebody comes after me, sues me, I've had this for almost 16 years now. I have 300 hours in trial defense time. Let's just do math really simple and say an attorney costs 200 bucks an hour. That's like I got $60,000, what I call my legal shield bank, just in case something would happen as a frivolous lawsuit. It gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing about that. There's family uh, services, uh, divorce, adoption, separation. There's a 90 day waiting period for that. But again, there's uncontested divorce, which I don't make a big deal of that because everyone that I've known that's went through divorce, usually it's not uncontested, usually it gets pretty heated. But that is part of our services. And document upload is which I'll go into as well, where you can submit a document for your re review. Again, this is all at the palm of your hand, tap the app, and you can have access to your law firm. Uh, traffic ticket. This was a big one, and, and Mike will probably elaborate a little bit on this after this is, because we both have been recipients of favor from this. Mine recently happened uh, probably a year and a half ago, and I say most recently. I don't get speeding tickets. I just don't. And it's not that I'm a good driver. I speed, and I'm not on this webinar to tell you to go speed. That's not what I'm telling you. But I just have been fortunate or lucky enough never to get a speeding ticket until a year and a half ago. I was driving down to southern Minnesota with my wife, and it was on Highway 212 coming into a smaller community. I think it was called Bird Island or Big Lake. or not. I don't even remember the town now. But the speed limit went from 65 to 45 to 30. And I was having discussion, and the next thing I knew, I tapped the brake because I had it on cruise and I'm cruising along. Well, it went from 45, and I went right into 30, and I didn't even realize it. Except there was a Minnesota state trooper there that happened to realize it. He spun around and I was very arrogant, the word I should say to my wife and said, I'm gonna get off of this. They will give me a warning and we'll be on our way because I had not had a ticket in over 20 years. Well, I'm setting this up to let you know that you probably already guessed it. I did get a ticket. He came back to the window and said, you're speeding. Here's your ticket. It's a $145 fine. You have 30 days to pay it. You can pay it at the convenience of your home. Go online to the state gov, boom, 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 pay your ticket. You got any questions? He goes, I said, nope, but I got a legal shield. So this was a Saturday. We took a picture of the ticket, sent it into the law firm. They'll get back to you in four business hours, Monday through Friday. So I knew I wasn't going to get a call them. They called me on Monday morning at 10 o'clock, said, hey, Mike, this is John. I understand you got a speeding ticket in such and such county. Whatever you do, I'm going to see what I can do for you on your behalf. Do not pay the ticket. Here's what I didn't understand. And you can do this uh, after this webinar. I went on the Minnesota State Gov site about speeding tickets. If I would go on and pay it, I 100% admit it guilt 100% immediately. That's why the attorney told me not to pay it. And then right below that, it says, the least of your concern should be the fine from your speeding ticket that you're going to get. Because on average, in the Minnesota this is, your insurance will increase up to 36% or $550 in the next three years. I was blown away by that. Well, long story short, the attorney called me back, did what he ever did on his part. I got the fine from 145 to I'm not sure where it went, but the, the biggest part of this, he said, stay clean, Mike, for six months and nothing will show up on your carrier, your insurance. I stayed up, American family, I've been with 30 years, they don't even realize I had a spinning ticket. Okay, that's just huge, powerful. There's also 24 seven access for emergency cases because not everything happens Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. If you're in a situation, maybe you get pulled over at 10 o'clock, they wanna search your vehicle. Hey, you have 24 seven access to speak to your attorneys. Will preparation, starting your will. Most people that I know, seven out of 10 don't have a will. When you're building assets, 
you should and you must have a will and you should and you must update that annually because if your asset column is growing, you want to make sure that's protected. You also get a living will health care power of attorney for you and your spouse. Huge, huge value of that. In the metro area alone, St. Paul, Minneapolis, and uh, this documents for husband and wife. The smallest one that I've seen as far as a bid was $800 for a couple, and it went to $3,000. I had three bids by this guy that was looking at this, so he got three bids from different law firms, $800 to $3,000. This is inclusive in your benefit. You get to update it annually. There's 25% discount for situations that's not covered what I just discussed, such as bankruptcy, contested adoption, contested divorce, DWI. Again, most of our members in Legal Shield, it's like 97% of them never even come over here because it's all part of their benefit. But again, we're not advocating bad things. Bad things happen to good people. You get that DWI, you get your phone consultation, and then it would go into 25% discount. We also help up with contingency cases as well. Who's covered? The member, the member's spouse, domestic partner, never married, dependent children under age 26, living at home, full-time school, and dependent children under age 18 for whom the member has a legal guardian, physical or mentally disabled children living at home. That's who's part of this protection. Okay? Amazing. So the simple question comes, which would you rather have? A lawyer that charges $250 an hour or a tired law firm across North America for $24.95 a month. Now I wanna say something since this is real estate people on here, real estate investors, real estate entrepreneur. Legal Shield has a home-based business rider because obviously we're building a business, we're talking about real estate. So that rider is additional $9.95 a month. So your legal plan and your home-based business rider to talk about all your real estate dealings that would be $34.90 a month. And you need to have that if you're on the real estate side of it, entrepreneur side of it. Otherwise, this is just a family protection law, what I talked about for $24.95. Again, if you got a good accountant, this will be a tax deduction for your business as well. The second flagship product, and I'll go into it quickly, because this these are two major products. Excuse me for one second. Just had a little dry throat there. Identity theft. Criminals don't want your money, they want your identity. Identity theft is out of control. So our product covers tax return, medical claims, social security, driver's license, character, criminal, credit. Okay, the ID Shield program has an app as well. Tap the app, monitoring alerts. They'll monitor anything and everything, as much of the information you want them to monitor. In the event that something happens, you get a push through alert. It's gonna allow you, you're gonna look at it. Let's say somebody tried to take out a loan in your name through Wells Fargo and you're not refinancing, you're not purchasing a home or nothing like that, that would be a red flag. At that point, you'd reach out to the license and get investigator from ID Shield and they would come in and do a comprehensive restoration. They would restore your identity back to pre-theft status. They'd work on it as long as it takes for whatever it takes until you are completely restored to identity theft status. And they have a $25,000 protection policy. That's just in case if you have any out of sight income that you'd have to maybe have a filing fee or whatnot on there. But again, all that other stuff under restoration is protected on that. And for additional $5 a month, they do the three bureau monitoring if you want all the bureaus to monitor and their million dollar protection. Again, but the biggest thing that both these have is the complete full restoration. Identity theft is out of control. In fact, if you've seen anything, with this COVID-19, I swear just about every other day, the attorney general is throwing out statements about the scammers doing to these stimulus checks coming out. That's all identity theft. Here's the thing that I know of doing this for 15 and a half years, when the economy gets hurt, when things get frustrated, the thieves go to another level. And identity theft is out of control right now in these times. So it's the old saying is right from the FBI, it's not a matter of when or if, it's a matter that you will get hit with identity theft. It will happen to you sometime in your life. So this is a family protection plan or it covers just you an individual, covers your kids up to 10 children under the age of 18, truly underneath that family plan. And so this is our two flagship products that I was talking to you about. 4990 is the legal and identity theft one bureau plan. Individual, it's $34.90. Now, remember, if you wanted the identity theft in that, you still would have to add that $9.95 home-based business rider on top of that. That gives you 
protection for your business. That's it. What's so, so unique about these products though, that I wanna point out to you before I move on to the opportunity, once you have your premium, the premium's locked in for life. You will never be canceled for usage. Just think about what I'm saying right here. If you have car insurance, which most of us should have and do have, and if you use that carrier seven or eight times in a calendar year, I think Farm Bureau, the last I heard from Farm Bureau, if you use Farm Bureau in a 12 month period four times, you go to high risk or you get a letter saying they're canceling you. You'll never be canceled and your premiums are locked in for life. Another unique thing to have, they called member perks. Member perks is just a huge, what I call it's a thank you uh, distribution thing that Legal Shield has set up because of their huge buying power. So if you get the legal plan or the identity theft plan, you have discounts on hotel, airfares, supplies. I recently had to do a, a printing at Office Depot as one of the member perks here. And it wasn't a lot that I printed, but it was some good quality paper, thickness of paper. And I think the bill was just shy of $20. And I went up with my member perks because it was attached right to my credit card. And it literally went down to like $2.15. The Office Depot clerk looked at me and said, how do you get a discount like that? I don't even get a discount like that. So I handed him my Legal Shield card and said, Legal Shield can give you that perk. It's just a huge thing. We've got cell phone coverages here too. This is stuff you're already spending money on. <clears throat> so I want to be clear on that. If you use your member perks, it will easy pay for either one of them. So let's move on to <coughs> Legal Shield did an analysis here. Hang on one second. I got to get my goodness talking so fast so legal field hired this company i'll call decision analysts <clears throat> and this is what they found in their market research 93 percent of respondents believe lawyers charge too much oh really that's not a shocker nearly 90 percent of americans say they don't have any form of legal insurance or legal protection service. I'm now transition, transitioning into the opportunity here. Nine out of 10 respondents said if the costs were more affordable, they would seek legal counsel. Think of that number, nine out of 10. And then more than 60% reported they would be interested in purchasing legal protection. The problem is Legal Shield's 50 years old, very few people know this even exists out there. This is why this is such an amazing opportunity. So let's get into it. How do we make money? It's actually quite simple. It's called the word of mouth marketing and building a large organization, a team. Since we're on real estate, think of Keller Williams in your marketplace. Keller Williams has a broker at each entity. And that broker has a responsibility to make sure they have market share. So if they need to get more market share, that broker goes out and recruits more realtors. You can do the same thing with your agency here. You can have it as small of an agency you want or a large of an agency you want. So the four ways that we make money, we do personally enrolling members, you get paid. You get also paid by building your team, overrides from your team, helping them grow. You get residual commissions, which I'm gonna get into, and bonus and incentives. The compensation that I'm gonna show you here is on the 49.90 plan, okay? When I evaluated this opportunity, the one thing that I wanted to make sure is what the level playing field was equal. In other words, I didn't want people to come in and say, oh, I could buy my way up to executive director or anything like that. Everyone starts at the associate level. When I signed up, just about 15 and a half years ago to do the business, I started at the associate level. The associate through director are what we call permanent positions. And I'm not going to get into how you do that, but you can do that by your personal business, or you can also do it by building a team. It's quite simple. If you decide to join on this, obviously I'm going to go into more detail with that. But this is the commissions they pay out. So if you go market a 49.90 plan for family right now for the identity theft and legal, Legal Shield deposited $60 cash the very next day in your bank account. How do you move up from associate to senior associate? You do $90 in premium and bring on one business partner. You recruit someone, okay? And then you're moved up to senior associate. Or you go do it in premium base too. And I think to move up to senior associate, it's 200 and some dollars in premium. 
But I always tell people, if you're going to build an agency, don't you want to help more people, especially in these times? Now look at this column here. So the personal column, that's the only thing that you have control of. Building your team override, yes, you can help people. Yes, you can bring people on but you can't be responsible. They have to be responsible to go build it with your help and then you get the override. So let's just say right now that you're a director and you went and sold a $49.90 plan, you would get paid $190 advanced commission. You upload it in your back office, 24 hours after it's in there uploaded, you'd get compensated $190. Let's say that you're a director in the business and you go bring in associate, okay? You find a business partner, they say, hey, I'm coming in. They go market a 49.90 plan, they get paid 60. And now you get the overrides and you get the accumulative overrides. So you'd get the 20, 20, 20, and 30. You'd get a $120 override from that. That's massive. And that's why you're there to help build and, pr and promote your team, just like a broker in a real estate office, okay? It's the same thing. You want them to be successful. And I can go more detailed than this if you decide to join, but for time's sake, I need to keep going here. So let's go to the simplicity of building a team. And this is what I focused on 15 and a half years ago. I thought I'm referring my mortgage people, my real estate people, <clears throat> my investor community. I know I can get 30 people. I know I can. And now look at this. If you get 30 people by default, you're going to be executive director. And if they just market five members each per month, you'd have a $7,500 override income. And ladies and gentlemen, this is very, very doable. I've been doing this for years and I'm not saying this to boast. I'm not saying this to anything. I just took the comp plan. I'd made a decision that I was gonna build this and this is very doable and I can share with you and help you build that as well if you chose to do to. That's called the power of leverage income, okay? It's important to understand leverage income. And each and every new member you bring in, this is the part that really got me excited, especially when we're going through COVID-19 right now. The life of the membership, not only the personal memberships that you write, it's also your entire organization that you get residual income. Think of that. So maybe some of you are sitting there thinking, well, I really don't understand residual income. Well, let me put it in a different verbiage then. If you're paying for homeowner's insurance, if you're paying for car insurance, and you're paying it to, I'll just take some of the bigger ones, the State Farms, American Family, the Geico's, whatnot. That agency is getting residual income month after month after month after month, as long as you keep that policy in place. And it's the same thing with us. I wrote memberships over 15 and a half years ago that are still on the books today that I'm getting paid over and over and over again. They also have Performance Club. This is just giving you an added incentive to do a, what you should do anyways with building your business. And they have up to a $500 a month bonus. That's a $6,000 bonus plan. And I go around and talk to people and say, hey, what did your company give up for bonuses last year for the Christmas bonus? I've never heard of $6,000 bonuses. This is just above and beyond your commission by just doing the simple stars, stuff of building your business that they, Legal Shield puts out these things. So now, entrepreneurs, I want to talk to you one-time investment. Yes, it's a business. Yes, you're building it. You know, if you made a decision to go buy Subway franchise, they're not going to say, oh, here's the keys, here's the doors, here's all the salads and the buns, good luck. You have to pay Subway, I think, close to $250,000 right now to be a franchisee, okay? You have to pay McDonald's over a million dollars to be a franchisee. Here at Legosfield, a one-time $99, one time, okay? It's your book of business, it's portable, it's willable. My book of business is already in the will to my three kids. You know, it's that residual income that down the road, I hope many years from now, because I'm only 55, but that's, that's already in the will to our three kids, split up three equal ways, that residual income. That life of that business moves on to them. Huge, huge thing. So what tools do you need to run your business? I've been a real estate investor for years. I've had online QuickBooks since it came out. This, this is just doing business, cost of business, okay? Legal Shield gives you personal website, your CMR tool, video hosting, Zoom. This is all inclusive for $19.95 a month to run your Legal Shield business. And again, it's tax deduction because it's a business. This is the best $19.95 a month I spend month in and month out to have my CMR, I, CRM, I can build and look through my agency. 
I have reports that I can give me. I have my own personal website that I can drive people to sign up to it. I can do video hosting with it, Zoom hosting, all part of that 1995. Huge, huge value for that. Plus, Legal Seal puts out trips and incentives. They're constantly rewarding us. I've been on, I've been to Hawaii, Punta Cana, Jamaica, uh, Mexico. I've been all over the, the in amazing five-star resorts just by building my business. In fact, I'm on some of these trips and I always think, why are they even doing this? I'm just doing the business anyway. So it's a really very unique thing to build your business on it like that. This is just uh, some of the, I, wait a, here we go. Hang on, got ahead of myself. These are some of the people I know, all these people personal from uh, Brian Crothers, the top left there. He was from the Baltimore, Maryland. His family came, very wealthy family, owned multiple real estate companies. And uh, Brian thought, you know what? I got to be from hero to zero every month. Because in real estate, he was just selling homes. He had a great month, one month, and then they had to go do it all over again. He left that family business. He's been with Legal Shield for 22 years. And he said it was the best decision he's ever done because of the residual income. Legal Shield has 200. They reward us by ring, uh, you know, 50, 200,000, 200 plus 50,000 ring earners, 250 ring earners in the last three years. This is from 50,000 to a million dollars a year. Okay, 250 plus millionaire club members. This is money making from home. This is a big deal. I mean, if you're going to get paid $50,000 on a W-2, think about making $50,000 working from home or 100,000 or 200,000. But the most important part on this right here is in the past 10 years, Legal Shield has paid out $1 billion in commissions and they are financially set. They're just looking for more quality people to join this and help people. And in this COVID-19 thing right now, because we have product for business owners as well, this has been a very, I've been on multiple Zooms with our law firms, with our business owners that this is scary times for them. What can I do? What should they do? Can I go to work? Can't they go to work? What happens if the, like Mike brought up with the employees that don't pay rent and some of that. So that's why this product is so amazing with that. So some things, if you see value in this, and I will tell you, I'll turn it back over to Mike here in momentarily. Become a member. I believe in my heart, I can look anyone in the eyes and say, everyone needs what we have, 100%. The second thing is become a rep. Why not benefit from sharing information? I don't know about you, but I shared people to go get Uber app all the time and all I got was measly $15 in credits or whatnot from Uber. I tell people about Spotify, I tell people about Amazon. I don't get no money from that. This is just a sharing business to build a massive business. So I'm gonna bring it back to Mike, and Mike, you can do some closing comments and tell me what else you want us to talk about. Okay, uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, thanks for sharing that. If anybody has any questions, um, go ahead and just type them in the, just type a question mark or whatever in the question box, and then I'll unmute you and we can talk if you have questions. I'm, I'm sure a few people have questions already on this that are gonna to wanna to follow up on it. Couple things that I will uh, say, um, Mike was talking about, earlier like um the traffic violations because you made a comment so i'm gonna follow up on that and uh mike is right i'm not like mike i i, I do have a lead foot i'm uh, and i'm willing to admit it i do get a few speeding the tickets that is one of the the hugest things that's ever happened to me is getting this service because once i got that and it's not about not paying your tickets it you definitely if you speed you got to pay your tickets right I, so i do all that but what it really does is they help you navigate the legal side of it. So it, like Mike said, it doesn't affect your insurance. And I remember one day, a couple of years ago, I had just gotten like my third ticket in about a two year time frame, And my assistant was paying, was paying some of my bills and she'd seen my insurance bill. And she's like, how is your insurance so cheap? It's cheaper than mine. She goes, you, I know how many speeding tickets you got because you know, I work for you and you know, I'm your sister. I, I manage all your finances. Right? I'm like, well, that's because the legal shield has helped me manage it. So, it's it's knowing how to manage things from a legal standpoint. That's the real benefit of that. And then um, I shared it with a few people last month at our wholesaling class. I'll share it again with you guys. Um, a couple months ago, well, we we're, we're just finished up a rehab project and we had a duplex property where we had two kitchens. We wanted to put in brand new cab new kitchen cabinets and you know countertops and all that in the two units, right? The upper and the lower units. So we ordered two sets of cabinets for this property 
from a new company, a new, a large company, a very a national company that was they're trying to get our business. So they said, Hey, come give us a try. We gave them a try. Order the canvas. This is back in November, and they had the scheduled delivery time for the middle of January. So they're, I mean, they're talking like seven weeks, seven weeks for delivery, right? Okay, that's going to work for us for our time frame. It's still too long, but it'll work for our time frame. So we went, went ahead and went with them. Their price wasn't, it was comparable to most other companies. So we gave them a shot. They called us in January, end of January, a week after delivery was supposed to be here. They called us, said your cabinets are in. Like, okay, great. We're going to demo the kitchen. So that, literally that weekend, we demoed the kitchens, went and picked up the cabinets, and they only had one set of the cabinets. So now we got two units with no kitchen cabinets in them, and we only have one set of cabinets. And so they're like, oh, yeah, just the one set came in. Sorry. The other set is on back order. Uh, it won't be here till probably April. Now, this is in January. And you're like, uh, okay, that ain't going to work. So they said, go ahead, order another set of cabinets if you need, and we'll do a refund. So on, that was on Friday. On Saturday, we went and uh, ordered a whole new set of cabinets. And they said, well, we'll have those cabinets to you in about two weeks. I'm like, okay. So we called back on Monday and like, okay, we ordered the other set of cabinets. Go ahead and issue the refund for the one set of cabinets. It was $4,000 for that cabinets. It was the, the bigger unit. So it was the more expensive part of uh, order. And they're like, okay, we'll issue the refund. And then they said, oh, and by the way, there's a 25% cancellation fee because you're canceling the order. And we're like, no, we're not paying a cancellation fee. You didn't provide the product. So I literally went down, argued with the manager, the store manager for about a half, well, about 15 minutes arguing. And he's like, you canceled the order. I'm like, oh, on your recommendation. And you're insistent that you would do the refund. Well, yeah, we'll do the refund if you cancel the order. But if you don't cancel the order, we'll deliver the products in April or whenever they get here. So like, fine, whatever. I just went and called the Legal Shield. Legal Shield took care of it. We sent them the contract, the receipts and all that. And they fired off a letter to the cabinet company, their corporate headquarters. And unlike Mike, we never did get a call or a letter back from them. But three days later, three or I think it was maybe four days later, the, the $900, because they, they refunded $3,000, but they still owe us $960. Four days later, that $960 magically appeared in our account. They finally did the refund. So, I mean, that, right there, that's, that pays for our membership for three years. And most people would have just argued and complained about it, and they might have, you know, and then given up after a while. So those are just a couple of the things right there that the services where I can tell you personally that have helped me in, the, in just recent ones. And I make a lot of decisions based on calling up the Legal Shield guys and saying, hey, this is what I'm thinking about doing right now. In fact, I, I even talked to them about the PPP loan. So should I go ahead and do that? And I'm like, yes, go ahead and do that. We'll figure out the ramifications afterwards because they were changing. That, that was two weeks ago and they were changing the guidelines every time. But like, but just go ahead and do it because if you don't, you're not going to get the money. Well, they were right. I didn't. I literally, so I did my application the day of it was the opening. I got the email notification at like eight o'clock in the morning last, I think it was Wednesday or you know Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day last week. I got the email notification at like eight o'clock in the morning and then nine o'clock in the morning, they came out and said, oh, all the funds are dried up. They're gone. So if you guys didn't apply for the PP loan, sorry, you're, you're, you know, we'll try to get some more money for you guys, but they still haven't done that yet. All right, so I've got that. Now I don't know what the requirements are. They still haven't given us the definitive guidelines. They've given us generics. So Legal Shield is working on that with me right now to try to figure out the, as soon as they get that, they're gonna give me the definitive. And they probably already have it by now. I just gotta follow back up with them guys on it. Um, but I mean, I love the service. It's it's the best service I've ever seen for the money. So I think everyone needs to have it. And the opportunity, like I said, um, the income right now, Every day, my other businesses have pretty much dried up in my personal business, my personal account. And every day I look in there and it keeps going up and up and up. Uh, so it's a it's a huge, huge resource for us right now. So I think everyone needs to take care, take advantage of it. And I'm going to do share something with you. I was debating whether to do this or not. Um, we do it on our um, Wholesale 101 class. But for anybody that signs up for the Legal Shield service, I'm going to... I'm going to pull it over here and share it on my screen and I'll show you guys how to sign up as well. So Mike, I'm going to take over control. Okay. Okay. So you guys should be seeing my screen right now. Okay. So there's a, a folder up here and this is all my forms and contracts that I use for my personal business. 
Uh, and one that everyone's always asking me for is, hey, Mike, can I get a copy of your purchase agreement? Well, here's, a, here's my purchase agreement. And let me just pull it up real quick. So this is my purchase agreement. This is the, the, the contract that I use. In fact, I was just playing around putting together an offer on a property right now, so it's already open. But you guys will get a copy of my purchase agreement. You'll get a copy of all my forms and documents that I use for my personal business. I'm going to give you guys access to this link. So anybody that signs up, um, once we've confirmed that you got signed up, I'll send you a, a link to download all these forms. And it's got the purchase agreements for buying, for selling. It's got quit claim deeds. It's got seller disclosures in there. It's got the lease options, uh, memorandums. It's got limited power of attorney, uh, contract for deeds, authorization to release information on a property, application receipt uh, agreements when you're getting, collecting you know, application receipts from your or money from your tenants. Um, a satisfaction of mortgages, assignment of mortgages, all the different forms that I've ever had to use. I keep them all in this one folder. I'll give you guys access to this folder so you can download that and get access to that. So in order to get signed up, there's a couple different ways of doing it. Uh, for those of you guys Minria members or for anybody that knows Minria, you go to minria.com and you scroll down the page on the right-hand side. You'll see a, down here at the very bottom, you'll see a link that says MJACO underscore we are legal shield. If you click on that, it'll take you right to the page to sign up. The other place I put a link to it is on Real Estate Promo. So if you, for everyone else, if you go to Real Estate Promo, if you click on the Happy Hour Zoom, most of you, I know a lot of you were already on that earlier with us. Uh, we're doing that on a daily thing. I also put a link to it right down here. Join the Legal Shield here. So just go to Real Estate Promo and then click on the Happy Hour link, the Happy Hour Zoom link. And then scroll down and click on join legal shield here again it'll take you to the legal shield page and then from here you can uh, become an associate and then i'll walk you through it it'll, it'll say okay what state are you in and then i'll walk you through step by step on how to get signed up and if you have any questions um, just go ahead give us a call um, and mike do you mind if i share your information or how can they get a hold of you yes please go ahead mike tell them yes okay um mike why don't you in the I need to get your phone number. Well, I got it right here. I'll go look it up and share that with, with them um, and walk them through there. Is there anything you want me to point out on here that they need to know about for signing up? Just with the real estate investor, you got to have that home-based business rider. That's the biggest thing that otherwise you're, you, you won't be able to use it. You have to have the home-based business rider. Yeah. You... So when you're signing up, when you click on select in your legal plan here, um, select the 2495 and then come down and hit the home business supplement yep okay so click on the home business supplement and that's what you need and that gets it to the 3490 which mike was talking about so it's 3490 for the for that and then the sign up for an associate is 99 so if you're gonna sign up as an associate do that you also have to sign up for the membership if you're already a member you can still sign up as an associate um i just uh You'll have to just give us a call uh, and we'll walk you through how to do that. If, because I don't know, can they do that on here, Mike? Yeah. Yep. It'll just ask for their membership number. They still can sign up there too. Oh, I will. Okay. Good. Yep. All right. Usually I just do that for people. So I didn't even know they could do it on the website. But yeah. So here, click on the, uh, the legal plan for the 2495 and the home business supplement. Mm -hmm. And that'll get you guys all set up. Uh, Okay, so a couple people were asking for the, the, the email links, but I got or how to sign up, but I don't have any specific questions on here yet. I'm gonna go find Mike's phone number. And I can, I can give it to you, Mike, too, right yeah, now. Why don't you just go ahead and give that to everyone? My phone number is 320-267-5122. 320-267-5122. I reside in Stillwater, Minnesota. So the biggest thing, no matter where you're at, if you do decide that you want to become a rep, I'm going to help you build your business. I'm here for your questions. I'll dictate, I'll not, not dictate. I'll tell you exactly how to do it, what I did to launch my business. But I want you to rest assured you're not going to be in business by yourself. I will be there to support you, to help you. You can reach out to me, email, you can call me. It doesn't matter. I want to make sure that you know that I'm a, an extension to help you build your business. All right, well, uh, thank you so much for your time, Mike. 
Um, looks like nobody's got any questions right now. I know a couple people, looks like they're going through the, the sign up process right now. I'll stay on here for a little bit, make sure we got everyone's, you know, if, if you guys have any issues or need me to walk you through it a little bit more, just go ahead and tie, sign, um, put a question mark, whatever in the question box and I will pop back on and help you. Uh, anything else? I think Mike, we can let you go for now. Okay. Sounds Unless good. You, else you want to share with us. And uh, thank you very much. And again, reach out to me if you guys got any questions about the business. I'm here to help you. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thank you so much, Mike, for sharing this with us. And yeah. thanks, everyone, for coming out here and spending the afternoon and, and learning about this. Uh, we're here to help you guys. We're trying to help everyone get through it. And this is just an awesome, awesome opportunity for you guys. So not only one, help you guys get some legal questions answered at a reasonable price without having to pay an arm and a leg for lawyers. Uh, but also to help you guys build up a, your income stream because I'm a firm, firm believer that you need multiple streams of income. And this is a perfect fit for real estate investors and entrepreneurs because people are asking legal questions all the time. And the best answer is, well, call Legal Shield because they're going to be able to answer it for you. And it's a beautiful thing. You just give them a call and they got it right on the phone and your app on the phone directly to their the law firm. They'll respond to you within they say guaranteed within six to eight hours i've never had them take more than two maybe three hours maybe at the most four but i've dealt with other attorneys where you make you give them a call and it takes them three or four days to return your call and then they charge you just for make returning your phone call they send you a bill just for calling on that you'll never get a bill from legal shield for answering questions you will only get a bill if you hire them to go and do something else that's not part of the normal plan, which most people never have to get to that point. Like I think 85 to 95% of everything we're gonna ever do is gonna be covered under the basic plan, the 24.95. And then because of the real estate side of it, the business side of it, that's where we need that home business part of it. So, all right, thank you guys. I'll leave the screen up here for a couple more minutes. If you guys need anything else, um, I think we're good to go there. And also, if you haven't, if you, this, you only came on this and you didn't know anything about our happy hour, don't forget we have that happy hour. It's Monday through Friday. We're doing it at 2 p.m. Central Time. Just come back here to Real Estate Promo every single day uh, at 2 o'clock Central Time. And then click on this link. And this will be updated every day with the new happy hour Zoom link. All right. So thanks, everyone. I'm going to... I'm just gonna step away. I will leave the screen up here for a few more minutes, maybe five, four or five minutes. I'm gonna step away, but I will not be here to answer any questions or respond. It's just gonna go quiet. And with that, I'll leave it up here for a couple more minutes if you guys have any more questions or need to get uh, figure out how to get to this page again. So thanks everyone and have a great day and we'll see you back here tomorrow on the happy hour. <laughs>